outside the New York Stock Exchange with Shalu, the CEO of Rasna Therapeutics. Nice to have you on the show. Thank you, Olivia. So what is your background in drug development? I am a biochemist, but for the last 30 years I've been in the uh, pharmaceutical industry. I've been part of uh, blockbuster drug Celebrax, and then I founded uh, Synergy Pharmaceutical, and uh, I'm an uh, inventor of the drug which is already approved uh, in the U.S. market, and it's doing very well. So Shalu, tell me about your first company. So Olivia, I was at uh, Monsanto, and I was heading the cancer group, and that is where I conceived of an idea. I left Monsanto and I uh, started, uh, co-founded a company called Synergy Pharmaceutical. So I'm co-founder, chief scientific officer, as well as uh, inventor of the drug, which is already approved by FDA and it is uh, in the market. And drug, I'm told, is doing very, very well. So Rasna right now is focusing on uh, leukemia, the treatment of leukemia. Is there a specific type? Yes. So leukemia have a number of types of it, but it's AML is the type of blood cancer uh, which is used unmet medical need. So we are going after uh, uh, AML and our technology is very uh, unique in the sense it's a different approach and we already published uh, clinical data in New England Journal of Medicine which is the top uh, journal in the world and data is very very nice. More importantly we did uh, report the follow-up uh, clinical data which is even better so that, that gives me a lot of uh, uh, excitement, and I'm very pleased with the data. Oh, it sounds exciting. But that was, I was going to ask, what is wrong with the current treatments that's available right now? Why go here? So, Olivia, current treatment is combination of drugs or uh, some drugs which have very high uh, degree of uh, toxicity or severe side effects. Ours is unique, and I believe uh, our drug would have uh, more efficacy and reduce toxicity. And what is the process of this treatment or developing this treatment and what stage are you in right now? So uh, we are in phase two uh, clinical trial and the way uh, we would uh, plan to do or develop this drug is uh, going through 505B2 pathway which is uh, a shorter pathway so we have to do some uh, safety in animal studies and uh, breathing study in uh, you know, patients which would be short and only one registration trial for approval. If everything goes good, I anticipate this drug would be uh, approved by 2021 and or 2022. Okay, and what results are you expecting after the treatment? So, uh, you know, complete remission is the data that you want to look at. What we reported uh, uh, and published in New England Journal of Medicine that there was 40% remission. And that remission lasted for 27 month, which is unheard of it. And what I am expecting it with the formulation that we have, that uh, the data would be even better. And uh, the complete remission response would be in, uh, higher too. Oh, wow, we look forward to that. And congratulations on your success. I'm sure a lot of people are looking forward to this. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you very much.